breaking news, bleeding with unconfirmed reports of a smallpox outbreak. Small is a highly rehearsed scenario. These are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. But thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail? And all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 and it reads, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash, next double honors, to the head apostle slash elder bishop of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. The end is nearer than when we believe. So we, we, we're here at Great Millstone. We're going to give it to you like a TI is. No sugar coating. Look, this is fastly approaching. While you got these other Israelite groups telling you that we don't got the name and all, all this other crap. Teaching about nonsense. The, the true men of the Lord, we're, we're prophesying. We're telling you what's going to happen before it even happened. This devil, this deceiver, this slanderer, the self-proclaimed so-called white man is going to throw some of us into concentration camps, a.k.a. prisons, that we may be tried, man. Remember, gold is tried in the furnace of adversity. Matter of fact, let's, let's get that right quick. Let's just get it right quick. Let's get Sarah right quick. We haven't been given the gift of faith, though. That's the thing about it. We have been, and the Lord said he ain't never forsook any that called upon him. We, we might have to get that too. Just something quick. Just letting you know, letting you Israelites know according to the Bible what's going to happen before it even happened. It's going to happen. Remember, every jot, every tittle. Every jot, every tittle. Everything written up in the scripture eventually has to come to pass, right? So rock chapter 2, verse 1, and it reads, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, who they ignorantly call God and Jesus, and, and we believe those names through faith. Through faith. I know ever since I've been calling on those proper names of the Heavenly Father and His, and His only begotten Son in the Hebrew tongue, it's, it's changed my life. Help comes, comfort comes. You see? Uh, all the above, man. Can't thank the Lord enough. For allowing us to, to receive those names once again. This is my son. If thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Because the hour of temptation is fastly approaching. What this devil is going to make it. And the word devil means slanderer or deceiver. What this devil is going to make it mandatory that you take an implantable device in order to function in a digital society. No one has to believe. See, they mocking and they scoffing right about now. 
We tell them that that C hip is the mark, is the is the M A R K of the beast, written of in Revelation chapter thirteen. Verse 16, 17, and we might have to get that, Lord willing. But the Lord said, prepare thy soul for temptation, right? As a matter of fact, let's get the definition for temptation. See, one thing about them other Israelite groups, they don't want you to look up the meaning of words, Israel. And, and when this thing pop off, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you. When this devil come in with great wrath, pursuant to Revelation chapter 12, verse 12, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you, right? Let's, let's get it. Temptation. Temptation. The desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. So people are going to try to urge you, your family members, your wife, you know what I'm saying? Your offsprings, your parents, they're going to try to urge you or persuade you, you see, or lure you into doing something evil. This devil is going to try to persuade you, lure you, you see, urge you. Throw, throw it out there as something attracts you. going to try to attract you, bait you, draw you. They're going to they're gonna start shutting down everything. So it's going to be a scarcity of food. In order for you to get that food, they're going to lure you in. And to taking that sea hip, they're going to bait you in. It's a snare. It's a trap. You, you see it all. They're going to make it very appealing. Oh, yeah, we can make you walk. We can make you see. Uh, all, all the above. They're going to try to lure you in. You see? Temptation. When we come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, right? Look, look let's, let's read on. Set thy heart aright, meaning get your mind right and constantly endure. The word endure means to make hard. And make not haste in the time of trouble. Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Or cleave unto your power, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. That's why it's most definitely important to build up, build up your personal relationship with Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Now build up your faith, build up your trust, build up your confidence in the Lord, right? The thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee. Take cheerfully, because remember, the devil is going to cast some of us into prison, right? We're going to go, we're going to go day. Some of us are going to have to go days without food, days without water, a roof over your head, jobs. The Lord putting a squeeze on this place, man. You see? He putting a squeeze on this place, right? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, easier said than done. But remember, the Lord said he's not going to tempt us above our measure, right? Remember, always remember the Lord ain't gonna put nothing on us we can't handle that's why we gotta constantly pray pray and we're constantly begging Yahweh through his only begotten son Yahweh Shai our people are gonna truly realize how important those names were and are and why you shouldn't have been playing around with them the whole time you don't play around with your help this is our only help our only help remember what is it Psalms Psalms 130 down at the bottom let Israel hope in the Lord our only help is the Lord, is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh not the damn government, not none of these politicians. You're still putting your trust in a damn politician. Are you serious? Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And the word patient goes back to being, to suffering pretty much, right? For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we're going to go through things. I, I just read it. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast the deceiver, the slanderer, the self-proclaimed white man, starting off with their elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Offenheimers, the Shirkin Groovers, going to cast some of us into prison, a.k.a. concentration camps. Now, think everything is a joke. You're not going to think everything is a joke when you get thrown in one. When the girl or choose knock on your door, you see, and, and say, look, you, you either going to roll with it, you know what I'm saying, or, or hop in that van, you're going to know that a prophet had been among you, right? Let's jump down. I want to jump down to verse 10 right quick, and then we're going to go right back to Revelation. This thing is fastly approaching. Look at the generations of old, verse 10, Sirach 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old and see. There ever any trust, a.k.a. have faith in the Lord? And what's confounded? That's a question mark. No. Or did any abide in his fear? 
and was forsaken. Qu another question mark. No. Or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? So, you know, we most definitely got the name, the proper name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son in the Hebrew tongue. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Who you going to call God and Jesus? The Lord said, who, who did I ever forsake? They actually called upon me. None, none, man. So let's go back. Quick little lesson through the spirit. Lord willing, the whole elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americanis. It's all coming to a hedge. Everything starting to climax. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's going down. You, I mean, what, and we always say this through the spirit of your house. You can choose to ignore it all you want to, but reality. See, prophecy is going to fix everything. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. This red letter. Lord, you how I speak it? Who they eagerly call Jesus. He's telling us that we're going to suffer. Rem remember, through much tribulation, I'm going to have to get that too. We're going to just walk up in. If we're part of that whole for elect number, we're not going to just walk into the kingdom, Israel. Israelite men and women. We're not just going to walk up in the kingdom, man. No, much tribulation. The Lord said through much tribulation. I'm going to have to get that, Lord willing. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. A.K.A. concentration camp is written, man. That ye may be tried. I just read about the gold being tried in the fire. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity, these fiery trials. That's why the Lord said, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try some of you as some strange thing happened. A forefather's been going through this. You see these trials and these tribulations. But the biggest one is coming, which is the hour of temptation. That's that's that biggest one, man. You see? It says, it says, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. We're going to catch some hell, a period of time. Could be 10, could be more. Be thou faithful, because all about having faith in Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Be thou faithful unto death. And we always go through this. This is reality. Some of us are going to have to lose our lives, man. If it's the Lord's will, let thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven, right? Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Because we're going to be brung before judges and rulers, as the scriptures have said, for a testimony, right? Ain't that, ain't that what the scriptures say? Matter of fact, I, 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 I named it. Let's, let's get this right quick. Let's get that Acts. I keep quoting it. Let's just get it right quick. Acts chapter 14. Let's just get it. Acts chapter 14. While these other Israelite groups are lollygagging and playing around and talking about who's the king Christ? Who's the king Christ? Who's the king Christ? This devil's getting ready to come in with great wrath. And, and the name of Jesus Christ ain't going to save nobody. Just know that. Matter of fact, before I even get that, let's go to the fourth chapter. Let's just go here. You Israelites will learn. And going to the book of Exodus, the 20th chapter, the, um, I think it's the 20th chapter where the Lord goes into not taking his name in vain. You got the Israelite groups taking the Lord's name in vain, man. Let's get this. Actually, tell me you can call the Lord anything. Break it out of the scriptures. Are you Israelite groups, you think you ain't going to be held accountable for that nonsense that you're teaching? Ain't warning our people about the suffering that's getting ready to befall them. Ain't warning them about Jacob's trouble. The hour of temptation ain't warning them about martial law. This devil is, he was giving shit, Revelation 6, chapter, verse 4. He was giving power to take peace from the earth. But at the same time, the Lord's going to make a way out of no way, like he always did. Some of us are going to get thrown in concentration camps. The guillotine is going to get ready to come down on some of us. And then the Lord is going to endow some of us. Lord willing, we're part of that hopeful number to receive spiritual power, man. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. And it reads, neither is there salvation in any other. So you can't call on Allah. You can't call on Buddha. You can't call on Santa Maria, the Hindu god of Shiva. You can't perform your witchcraft. That's, that's not going to help you get salvation and deliver. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So we can't call on 20 different names. 
a hundred different names. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And we have been given the proper name of the heavenly father and his only begotten son in the Hebrew tongue. And we believe that through faith. And it's Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And for all you Israelites that don't believe that, call on who you gonna call on. Like Joshua said, if it seem evil to serve our power, if it seem evil to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you gonna serve. That's all. And see if you get saved and delivered. That that's all. You see? Just see if you're gonna get saved and delivered in that day. Acts chapter 14. Verse 22, and it reads, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue to push, 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 keep going, no matter how hard they get. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. Keep believing in Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, no matter how dark the road gets. You see, no matter how difficult the path may seem, right? And that's going to, um, Second Ezra, the seventh chapter, starting in verse six, I might have to get that too. Exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we, the hopeful elect, must through much tribulation. We're going to be catching all kind of hell. That's why we're constantly praying right now that the Lord keeps their spirits on us to endure, man. To endure. Get, we're praying for more strength now. We're not waiting. We're praying for more faith now. More guidance now. Praying for all these three. We're praying to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai that they keep their spirits on us, Lord willing, to endure everything that comes our way. And we're constantly praying to the Lord to keep his spirit on us, to not take that sin because we don't know. Me and the brothers always say we don't know what the Lord going to do. But we're constantly praying. We're hoping because we're prisoners of hope. We're praying to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. No matter what happens, keep their spirits on us to endure whatever happens. Whatever happens, keep your spirit on us to endure and to do the right thing and to please the Lord. Even if it costs us our lives. You see, and that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's our prayer. That the Lord keep his spirit on us to endure the tribulation, the sufferings. And, and if, if it costs us some of our lives to have to, to have to enter into the kingdom, so be it. So be it. I want to get that revelation one more time, though. Revelation chapter 2, verse 10, and it reads, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Got to keep going back to this. The Lord said we're going to suffer. He said, don't fear it, though. Plus, the Lord already told us, you know what I'm saying? Fear, fear not them. Fear him that can kill and cast into hell, meaning the condition played out on earth. Don't fear him. They can, they can do something to the body, but can't do nothing to the soul. No, you fear him that can do something to the body and the soul. Bring you back, do something again, delete you. Bring you back, do something again, delete you. Bring you back, do something again, and delete you. That's who you fear. And the Lord says it's going to go well with those that fear him. Blessed are all those that fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shaka. Remember, the Lord is controlling this devil too. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, concentration camps, that ye may be tried. And why these other is like, why ain't none of these other is like who's touching the scripture right here? Why? You better ask yourself, why ain't none of these other is like who's going into the scripture, man? Of this devil, this deceiver, this slanderer, casting some of us into prison, concentration camp. They don't talk about the concentration camps or nothing. It's just husband love their wives. It's just I'm perfect. It's just uh, the laws, the statutes, the commandments. 2 Corinthians 5 and, and 10. And all this madness, man. That, that Shakespearean madness that ain't going to get you nowhere. That ye may be tried. Tried Israel, tested. And ye shall have tribulation. 10 days, a period of time. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. This is the good book. This is the gospel. You want the gospel? This is the gospel right here. You, you wanted the gospel. This is the gospel, man. This, this is the good news. And the Lord called it light affliction, but which is but for a moment. Let's get this Romans right quick. 
I'm just, I'm just flowing. Lord willing, the elect, the hopeful elect is edified, man. We gotta warn our people. This is Romans chapter eleven. I mean, so like this is Romans chapter eight, verse. Um, I just want to hit the point. Romans chapter eight, verse eighteen, and it reads: For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the things that we're going through, and the things that are fastly approaching, for I reckon. Remember, being cast into prison. Going days without food, going days without water, being on the run, hiding in the woods, what have you, man. Whatever situation that befalls us, we don't know. We're just constantly praying to the Lord to keep the faith on us, to constantly believe no matter how dark and grim it may get, it may look. Keep your spirit on us to believe. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And then, and then once again, the Lord called this light of faith. I, I got to get it. I got I got to get it. Second Corinthians chapter four. Let's just get it right quick. Second Corinthians chapter four. Verse 17 Matter of fact, I started 18. I started 16. For for which call we faint not, but though our outward man perish, meaning his body, yet the inward man, our spirit, is renewed day by day, right? It is for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, that tribulation just fastly approaching, and the things that we're going through, the Lord says, but for a moment. It wasn't meant to last for all eternity. The hell that we're going through and the hell that's coming, it wasn't meant to last for all eternity. It's but for a moment. And that's the mind state that we got to have. No matter what we're going through, it ain't, it ain't for all eternity. Which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, man. For a while, for a while we look at for a while we look not at the things which are seen because remember we walk by faith not by sight we walk by faith not by sight while we look not at the things which are seen the, the things that we're going through in the situation and the predicaments that's going to befall us but at the things which are not seen the kingdom for the things which are seen are temporal everything that we get ready to go through is temporal it's temporary right but the things which are not seen are eternal. And that's what our mind is focused on. The things that are not seen. And remember, the angels of the Lord that kept it round about us. The angels of Yahweh, Baha, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, and kept it round about us. And remember, the Lord said, endure hardness as a good soldier. And I want to get that second address too. Because we, we got to go through it. It ain't no way around it. Israel, it ain't no way around what's coming. It, it, it ain't. Let's get this. Second address chapter seven. Just get it. Second address chapter seven. We'll start at verse six. Second address chapter seven, verse six. And it reads, there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of good things. Talking about the kingdom, right? The entrance thereof is narrow. Remember that straight and narrow. That path of, you, know, you go into the definition for the word straight, it means a path of difficulty, right? Hardship, right? The entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as it were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water. You know what I'm saying? This is how that path is, man. This, this, how, this is how difficult that path to the kingdom is, right? It says in, in one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. If the city now were given unto a man for inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive the inheritance? So we got to go through it. Lord's will, Abba Ratazan, we're part of that hopeful number to endure and to make it through the other side. We got this, this is the only way. This is the, that path of difficulty. This is the only way to the kingdom, man. We all got to go through it, man. You see, each and every last one of us, 
And nobody ain't going to be able to hold our hand. We're going to have our own hour of temptation, man. Everyone's going to be faced with the hour of temptation. Each and every last one of us, even you non-believers, even you non-believers, you're going to be faced with the hour of temptation. You see? But the thing about it, the whole for elect, no sin, the Lord said, I ain't going to put nothing on you that you can't handle. And I, I want to get that. I want to get that. Let's just get that. First Corinthians. Yeah, that was, that was a bad scripture right there. The Lord said, look, look, this is the only way. You got to go through it. You got to go through it. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai said it. First Corinthians chapter 10. Let's just get that. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Let's get that. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Let's see, bear with me. They have no temptation. They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But the heavenly father, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh shines faithful, who would not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Lord said, look, look, I'm not going to put nothing on you. You can't handle. If I'm putting it on you, I know you can handle it. We got to believe it though, right? What does it say again? This is heavy. They have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But the heavenly father is faithful. Who would not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it, man. You see, the Lord's going to make it to where we can be able to bear it. We can withstand the temptation, even if it costs us our lives, even if it costs us our lives, man. So I just want to just throw something out there, man. Look, this devil's getting ready to come in with great wrath. The hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, all that is fastly approaching. That's why we're constantly praying now to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I got one more. That's why we're constantly praying to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to keep their spirits on us to do what is right. I want to get one more. I want to get this Ezekiel. And, and once again, you other Israelite groups, you got, you got a lot of explaining to do to your congregation. You ain't preparing them. You're not warning them. You ain't doing a damn thing but lollygagging and playing games. But the game and the joke is going to be on you soon coming. I got this last one. Ezekiel chapter 33. See if your logo gets you out of this predicament. See if your logo delivers you from Jacob's trouble. See if your, your money, you know what I'm saying, and your gimmicks deliver you from the hour of temptation, martial law, cannibalism, race wars, clear class wars, civil wars, economic wars, our, our World War III. The cherish shooting the laser beams on this place. Civil unrest. See if all your nonsense, see if your gimmicks get you, get you out of that predicament. You see? Ezekiel 33, 33. And when this cometh to pass, everything that I've been reading, the prophecies, lo, it will come. Pursuant to Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3, the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Because it will surely come, right? Lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. Then they're going to know when they end up in the concentration camps, when, when they head up on a guillotine, when they sit somewhere starving, you see? A little um, eating somebody because they had a resort to cannibalism. They're going to know that a prophet had been among them. Fear none of the things which thou shalt suffer. Shalom.